Our life is absolutely full of risks. And did you know that the probability of you dying in the next 10 years, you involving in an accident, the company being bankrupt, you being broke, <laughs> and the economy experiencing recession and booming can be calculated using statistics, mathematics, and computer programming. Oh, yes. And the only person who has the capability to do that is an actuary. We don't only look at the negative aspects of life, we also look at the positive aspects of life, like finding solutions to problems in finance, insurance, and other industries. In the previous video, I gave you the definition of an actuary, the cause that corresponds to an actuary, and everything you need to know about actual science and being an actuary. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the major causes done in actual science. The sectors where we can work at, the opportunities, and the different types of an actuary. An actuary is a business professional who deals in the management and measurement of rigs, and the cause that corresponds to an actuary is actuarial science. Actuarial science is a discipline course that applies statistics and computer programming to determine the risks in insurance, finance, and other industries. We do many courses in actuarial science, but the major the major ones are probability and statistics. Sorry, <laughs> probability and statistics, real analysis, linear algebra, management, accounting, economics, computer programming, and many other more. Offering actuarial science to many other fields like the banking sector, the finance sector, the management sector, the risk management sector, the insurance sector, the educational sector, the health sector, and the computer programming sector. And we might end up becoming a mathematician, a finance analyst, a lecturer, an operational manager, a bank manager, a programmer, a teller, an actuary, and any other courses you could, any other careers you could think of. Being an actuary entails a lot, and we have a lot of responsibility to perform. That is why we have different types of, and act, different types of actuary. This morning, I jotted down some notes that will be very beneficial in explaining the types of an actuary, the types of an actuary, and in order not to forget anything. An actuary, as I said, is a business professional that applies statistical and mathematical methods to determine the risks in insurance, finance, and other industries. And we have types of an actuary. The pricing actuary. The pricing actuary is responsible for determining the amount of money a company will get on their products. Some of their products are the life insurance. That is, they determine the amount of money that is a premium for an individual to pay for it their beneficiaries when they die. The consulting actuary. The consulting actuary is an actuary who gives advice on a good planned pension scheme and they're more or less like a consultant. And the pension actuary. The pension actuary look at all the members of the pension plan and their salaries and their age to determine the amount of money each pensioner is going to get during their retirement. The financial actuary. The financial actuary works at the world of banking and finance. They deal with all the calculations done at the banking sector. They also minimize risks. They work as an auditor at the banking sector. They also determine the amount of investments the bank should make in order to get more return. They determine the interest rate to be kept on loans, savings and their insurance. Yes. And often actual science is a discipline, classic and a good paying job. So if you're mathematically inclined and you would love to make a lot of money in the future, then often actual science is the best choice. Actual science is not a difficult course, but it's a little bit challenging. And remember that you can do anything once you put your mind to. I am Benedict Sasa Wilson, a second year student studying actual science at Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Good day.